Thank you for the coffee. And thank you for sending me the email. Now, are you the kind of person who uses the word thank you every time you have to appreciate someone's help? Now, let me in this video, tell me 10 other ways where you can actually thank someone without using the word thank you. The first one is much obliged. Now, this one is a bit formal and you could possibly use it in formal emails to professional contacts. And this also lends a sense of appreciation for the help the other person has rendered to you. The second one is I appreciate it. Now you see, you have not used the word thank you, yet you're conveying a sense of gratitude to the person for his or her help. It's also very specific to the kind of help the person has rendered to you. The third one, in fact, is my favorite. You are a lifesaver. Now just imagine a situation the tomorrow is perhaps your chemistry or geography examination and you have misplaced your notes and your friend lends you his or her notes for you to study from. What do you tell that person? You are a lifesaver. Trust me, your friend will be extremely delighted to hear this instead of a very clinical thank you. Okay, so the next time use that and say, you are a lifesaver. I am not saying that you have to your chemistry or geography ke notes. Ko misplace kar dena. Fourth one, I am grateful to you for your help. Now, this expresses the depth of your gratitude and also acknowledges the assistance given by the other person. The fifth one, you have been a true blessing. Now, this one conveys a lot of warmth for the other person. And it also expresses gratitude in a very heartfelt and appreciative way. So use that. You have been a true blessing. The sixth one, you made my day. Now this one is a little enthusiastic, a little joyful and say, you made my day. It kind of conveys that what you have done for me has really been something big, something monumental. So it kind of conveys how the action displayed by the other person has impacted your day in an extremely positive manner. You made my day. The seventh one, I'm grateful beyond words. I'm grateful beyond words. What does it say? It conveys that your sense of gratitude is so immense, so huge that words cannot fully express it. Okay, I'm grateful beyond words. The eighth one, hats off to you. Now, this is extremely youthful. Hats off to you for the kind of work that you have done for me. Now, this is a way, also respectful, also youthful, to acknowledge someone's effort to helping you. Now, you could also say, the ninth one, you are a gem, you are a star, you are a rock star. Now, again, extremely youthful way of expressing gratitude and thankfulness. Now, this is also seen to convey a lot of enthusiasm. So you could try that when you are expressing your gratitude towards someone who is probably your own age. You are a rock star. This one is one of my favorites. And last, now, assuming that you didn't like any of the nine ones and you still want to use the word thank you because that's what you think, the other person will understand and appreciate. You could try saying something like, I can't thank you enough. Now, if the other person's English is not very strong, this, the, the possibility of the other person misinterpreting this is also there. He may just think, I can't thank you, but you are saying, I can't thank you enough, which means that no amount of thanks will be enough for what you have done for me today. Okay, so do let me know if you use any of these and whether they bring a bigger smile on the person you actually write to or say this to you. And let me say this at the end. I am grateful beyond words for the trust that you have shown in SWS. Okay, and uh, I can't thank you enough, right? So till the next time, Tata, bye-bye.